you know, Mark, I was reflecting a little bit on the question that you raised earlier. Um, what is it that makes such a program tangible and how do you manage to bring it out to the people all over the world? And there were a couple of aspects that I might uh, like to show you. Mm -hmm. One, for instance, was that it was about five or six years into the program. We developed a game. Colleagues of mine actually did that, not me. Uh, developed a wonderful game. I show you that here. Mm -hmm. It's a huge thing. Oh, you're bringing toys. I always love yeah, toys. Yeah, it's really a toy. It's, it's, really, it's, it's like a, a board game. It's, yeah. it's a huge thing. Yeah. I, I forgot how big that actually is. Wow. Okay. Wow. So it's... Well, it's a Zeman, it, so... It's the wrong way around. Okay. Come on. So, yes. Okay. And that was a, a board game that we played all over the world with, okay. I would say, thousands of people Okay. that shows you a, a project process and gives you... Um, tasks to decide upon in your project mm -hmm. and all these tasks that you take in your project mm -hmm. have a certain outcome at the end okay. of the day so it's actually a, an early form of gamification which is a exactly. big, nice bingo word now right exactly exactly and um, with this game you could then see how you could um, how you performed in certain aspects of a project mm -hmm. like the project team the project scope the customer management or the interaction with internal and external parties mm -hmm. And this game we played in big groups. I remember I once went to Croatia with uh, four of my team members and we played there with about 200 people. Oh, wow. All in one room sitting at about On 20 different tables. Okay. 20 different tables were approximately 10, 8 to 10 people per, per table. Mm -hmm. and, and played this game there because it, it was a very educational game and it mm -hmm. showed you actually really cause and reaction and so on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that was going in parallel with our initiative, with a new booklet that we at that time presented. And that was a wonderful thing. So it's a great way to marry a theory that you can read and understand with a gamified version of it so that you can kind of simulate the situation. Yes, and awesome. reflecting. And then, of course, you had a lot of And then kind uh, of group, group think and group reflection. Yes, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So just one thing to show you. Awesome. And Who actually developed this game for you guys? Do you, do you remember? It, it, it was developed by uh, people from our core team, as okay. far as I remember, plus uh, external and an external um, development company that, that okay. developed games like this. They know? haven't sponsored this yeah. podcast, so we're not naming them. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, if, we, if we find out, I don't actually have a, a problem linking them. So in case people are interested, we can eventually link them up with it. But we'll, that's something we'll do later. Good. Yes, we do. 